Good evening. He was trying to repair a family's home that was damaged during last week's storms. But investigators say a contractor in Clay County was electrocuted. The coroner has identified him as Dwayne Brewster. Tonight, we're hearing the 911 calls from the homeowner who saw the accident. Bill Pendleton is in Clay County with our top story at 6. The creek on Bells Fork Road had recently jumped its banks, damaging several homes, including this one that the owner says was knocked off its foundation. Thursday afternoon, she says she called on her friend, Dwayne Brewster, to help her reset it. I need an ambulance up here at Things went terribly wrong. We were underneath my trailer, okay. reliving it, and my friend has got electrocuted. He's got electrocuted? Yes. Ray Adam Corner says he was told the electrical wiring that goes to the junction box was damaged. Creating a short. They were underneath the mobile home, which uh, was uh, damp. Uh, there was mud under there, water underneath. Uh, from the storms. The homeowner told me that Dwayne Brewster was very experienced in doing this kind of work. And she says that he's a friend, but he's also a family member through marriage. She says they're simply devastated by the tragedy. Finley says he's been a coroner or deputy coroner for more than 20 years and never worked a case like this. There's a lot of uh, safety standards and so on and so forth in place uh, to prevent these type of things. State police were called to investigate, but they say that it'll probably be ruled an accident. Why the electric was not disconnected. Uh, prior to work taking place, I don't know. The homeowner says Brewster was still breathing in the moments after the incident. He was taken to a Manchester hospital where he was pronounced dead. In Clay County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Brewster's body has been sent to Frankfurt for an autopsy.